Hi my friends, today we model this object with the name Spindle Jack Body. As you think, the source is from Timoteo Carrera Soto with these uh, dimensions. Even if you see here a non-uniform shape, we will use these uh, dimensions. This part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carrera Soto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182. You can uh, easily see how painstaking this drawing was to represent the square thread with so many lines. Look here. Manually, Timoteo has uh, created uh, this uh, complicated shape. This is my drawing and uh, you see I also respected the natural, not conventional drawing for the thread. We start by drawing the external uh, revolving feature. New standard millimeters IPT sketch XY plane. The height is 300. And this is the axis. A center line then the contour dimensions this is 70 This is 105, 150, and 20. This is a fully constrained sketch, so we apply revolve okay we apply fillets do not forget four is this and also this plus eight for this we continue with the uh, this handle which has a lot of dimensions here and we respect these dimensions even if we don't see a dimension here neither here yes my drawing has 20 here 20 this is a cylinder and 20 here we use uh, the plane XY as usual for this sketch F7 I draw a line between this point and this green point I make uh, and I also project uh, this generator will have 
them in our attention but as construction lines. I draw one, two, three and also one parallel to this one two and three. I connect this two I place a point on the generator at a distance of uh, 25 I may coincident these two that distance is of 20 now 20 20 and again 20 this dimension is 35 this is 155 and the distance from the center is 85 we have a fully constrained sketch but we add fillet of 20 between these two uh, these two and here then 10 millimeters for this fully constrain again finish sketch extrude symmetrical of 20 and you see what we have here we apply this uh, fillets radius 10 radius 8 radius 10 radius 16 this is 10 also 10 here then uh, Eight then sixteen okay the other ones are twenty divided by two one, two, three, four. Plus, this is six. All these four edges. Okay, then we create this internal volume together with uh, the internal cylinder of 30. We have dimensions here 15 radius 4 and 30 with 100 XY plane sketch F7 and we draw a line as a center line between these two points then uh, I make this center line I draw a line starting from here I hover over this in order to get this constraint of parallel, horizontal and up. 
dimensions 15 here this is not okay because it must be perpendicular on this I delete the constraint and I make it horizontal you see I apply fillet 4 between these two then uh, diameter of uh, 30 one dimension needed I place this dimension which must be 100 but I apply something interesting THL is the thread hole length yes equal 100 you can always see expressions if you apply this option expression and you have all of them place here you see we have here a name a special name instead of uh, dimension 36 dimension 37 and so on you will see why I use uh, this fully constrained sketch finish revolve with cut and we see what happens okay and now the thread as you can see we have dimensions here 4 is this gap 4 is this other gap the pitch is 8 yes 4 plus 4 internal dimension is 30 external is 40 what is the distance 40 minus 30 divided by 2 yes the length of this uh, thread is 100 which has a name don't forget let's apply the tool coil after we define the section I use the same plane F7 we go up we project this line and we create here a rectangle starting from the end of the line which has horizontal of uh, 40 minus 30 divided by 2 we don't invent by heart dimensions but we use dimensions in the drawing and the other is 4 then we apply coil the tool coil of this already selected uh, close contour and then we select the axis which is uh, y we use pitch and height this option not pitch and revolution not revolution and height but pitch and height the pitch is uh, 4 multiplied by 2 and here is the dimension THL but with minor letters this is why we see this sign and I want to place here 110 but I prefer to use THL which now is recognized yes for our uh, 
thread. Okay. We have this. Everything is okay. No problem. We can create a new sketch to see inside. F7. And we see the thread. Good. Now you send this uh, model to your friend uh, in the world, say to the Tuvalu Islands. Yes? And he decides to change this dimension from 100 to 120. Is this possible? Yes, it is, of course. What will your friend do? He goes to the revolution, double click, and he changes this 100 with 120. Now we expect that the thread doesn't cover all the length. Let's see. Double click, F7, and we see that it goes beyond that 100, since this is 102. We can apply measure with M from this face to this face, and we see 120. If I go back to the sketch, this sketch, and I apply expression, you see THL is still there, and the dimension is different. Your friend in Tuvalu Islands changed the length, but the thread is still going through all the dimension. You must use expressions when you don't know which is the receiver of your work. Finish this. I go back with that dimension because I want to have a volume there. Double click 100. THL is not modified. I go back to value, finish, I delete this sketch and I search for the volume. I properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, paste. There is a difference here, but we don't use the previous one, but this, because this was made by us together. I change the material, which is uh, still cast, then the color to red and only one face, this one to be machine. Still polished. Okay, you can change the visual style to be shaded and you see the differences between the two which is uh, minor, I suppose. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.